yeah. I'm trying out my new uh, dash mounting camera. I'm going to just leave it work. This is a rural road that I drive on quite a bit. Every day. Uh, during the winter time, before I have this camera mounted like this, it's on up the road for a couple miles. There was a field that I saw large tracks coming down out of the woods, down across the field, and uh, right across the road. And these were some really large tracks, much bigger than any human would make. But, uh, there's been a couple of Bigfoot sightings by locals down this road. So I just thought I would mount this camera up in my vehicle. And run it off the side of the road. You can also see that kind of a rural area it is around here. There are some houses along the road. But back behind it is nothing but hills and trees. The opposite side over there. It's all hills, wooded hills over there. Power line there. These creatures, they do come in around people. <laughs> that much I know. Never thought it was possible until that tree shaker. I don't take anything for granted anymore in this. I'll take a camera just about anywhere now. There's a lot of back roads and stuff in the Salt North area where there's not too many cars on them. It's real nice with a setup like this. And I could just go down those back roads and just pan back and forth as I'm driving slowly. Who knows? Someday I'll make catch one of this kid. Well, this is a rural area I drive through twice a day. Come up this way in the morning and then about five in the afternoon, I'm headed back. Five days a week, Monday through, Monday through Friday. A lot of woods up in there. It's too bad I have to try this fast. See some more. But, uh, I don't know how good the audio is. I got my driver figured it out. Right now it's 67 degrees. It is a beautiful day after the freezing cold that we've had the past couple of months. I'm starting to feel better. I'm probably back about uh, probably 70%. I'm getting there. Once I get back to 100%, I'll be out in those woods every chance I get. Especially in an area, it's probably about 12, 50 miles southwest of Salt Lake State Park. There's 60,000 wooded acres. Nothing. There's no houses. Uh, there's some old mining roads. What it is, is reclaimed and strip land. Since the 1950s and even the, uh, the 1940s, American Electric Power had uh, strip mines through there. And it's all public land. They're, they're done working in there now. It's all open. You're allowed to go anywhere that you can reach. Most of it's on foot, but there are some old haul roads, dirt roads that you can drive. 
my back room to get to some, some areas. Then you have to get out and walk. But, farmland. That's where I live, farmland. Lots of farmland there around here. We're just north of what's called the Sasquatch Triangle here in Ohio. Thank you for coming here. Amazing. can't see it from here, but it's down over there, the opening. Uh, I can just barely see the top of it from up here. But I'm not going down here today, but it's down over the hill right there. It goes all the way through the hill. It's, a fair, it's supposed to be a fairly long tunnel. I okay. You see that going across there? You see that? That wasn't there. That that dead tree laying across there. That wasn't there the other day. We haven't had any wind. I'm going to have to start keeping an eye on this area. That's totally different than any other. That's, that's been laid up there. That's been laid up there. That's in between those. And there's one. I can't point to it. I can't point to it. My finger's too big in the view screen. They sit right on top of another one. That's been laid up there. I think I'm going to have to start paying more attention to this area. Because now that it's warmer, 
they're going to be back out. And I also see a tree down there that is bent over. I don't know if I can get it on camera. Yeah, there it is. That wasn't bent over before. It looks like two trees there, but it's one. It's one. That's been that's been pulled down. That wasn't pulled down before. It's starting to get spring. It's mid 60s today. They're starting to move around. Well, I gotta get going. I gotta get back to my house, get some supper, and I got a car to take in to get it fixed. Catch you later.